In this module, I will discuss about molecular mechanism of mutation. What is mutation? Mutation is defined as heritable changes in the genetic material. It provides raw material for evolution. So what is the molecular mechanism of mutation? That is how mutation occurs. Watson and Crick pointed out that the structure of bases in DNA are not static. That is purine and pyrimidine bases are not static. Hydrogen atoms can move from one position in a purine or pyrimidine to another position. Such chemical fluctuation are called tautomeric shifts, that is fluctuation, that is movement of hydrogen atoms from one position of the base to the another position is called tautomeric shifts. Now tautomeric forms of bases are given in the figure. In pyrimidine, it consists of two bases, that is cytosine and thymine. Now common form, it is the amino form, common form is the amino form which changes to the less stable form that is amino form. In that case, hydrogen atoms moves from fourth position of the base to the third position. You can see in the figure. So, amino form changes to amino form. Similarly, in case of thymine, there is a shift of hydrogen atoms from third position of the base to the fourth position as a result of which keto form is changes to enol form of thymine. Next comes the tautomeric shifts in purine bases. Purine bases that is adenine and guanine. In case of adenine, Amino form is changes to amino form. Here, hydrogen atoms moves from sixth position to the first position of the base. Similarly, in case of guanine, keto form is changes to the le less stable form, that is enol form. Here, hydrogen atoms moves from first position to the sixth position. Now as a result of this shifting of hydrogen atoms from one position of the base to the another position as a result of which mutation occurs. Now in this figure we can depict it how the changes of bases leads to your mutation. In the number one the parental DNA here, the normal keto form of guanine is present, keto form. Now, this keto form is changes to the less stable form that is a rare enol form, that is the tautomeric shifts occur in the number two. Now, in the number three, that is the first generation progeny, guanine it pairs with thymine instead, instead of cytosine as a result of these tautomeric shifts. Now, when further DNA replication occurs, during that replication, that is guanine, is further shifts back to its stable form, that is your keto form, as a result of which, again, guanine pairs with cytosine, over and above, what happens actually, as a result of this tautomeric shift, 8GC is substituted by AT, that is called GC-AT substitutions. So as a result of this GC-AT substitution, a mutant form is developed, that is GC is substituted by AT, that is the mutant forms developed and other forms are normal, that is three wild type and one mutant forms. 
So this is the mutation as a result of totomeric shifts. Now as a result of these base pair substitutions, there are different types of mutations occurs. One is your transition mutation where there is a replacement of purine by another purine and pyrimidine by another pyrimidine. Another type of replacement it is called transversions. In transversions, purine is replaced by pyrimidine while pyrimidine is substituted or replaced by purine. Then there is a, another type of mutations. It is called frame shift mutation, where base pair addition and deletion leads to the mutation. Now there are twelve different types of base substitution occur as a result of transition and transversions. Now of the twelve different base substitution. There are four types of transition occur and eight types of transversion occurs. Now frame shift mutation. So in this figure we have depicted how frame shift mutation occur. Now when there is a CG base pair addition occur in this figure, we have shown that CG base pair addition has occurred. As a result, CG base pair addition, there is a change in the reading frame. As a result of which change in the reading frame, the codon number 3 is changed from GCU to your CGC. As a result of which glycine protein or glycine amino acid is replaced by arginine. As a result of which, as a result of this frame shift mutation that is addition of CG base, there is a reading frame is altered and ultimately polypeptide that is a change of amino acid in the polypeptide that is in the protein. So this type of mutation is called frame shift mutation. So, mutation which is the molecular change in the genetic material and as a result of this mutation evolution occurs so we call it as a raw material for evolution. In this module we have provided key concepts and books for further reading. Some quizzes are there. Also we have provided study materials. If you have any question please feel free to ask. Thank you for attending our online course.